Morning. Back at Pura Vida. What's going on, Neil? Or do you have to stay overnight? Oh, it's a. We're talking about hiking. Lame. Hmm? Critter Hunter. Alex saw some harlequins, so we're gonna go try to find out today with the boat. What's that? Boxer, Night trucks? That's good. Yeah, Sign I think so. Signing your life away? Yep. Yeah. All right, see Let's you. see this photo. Yeah, this. <laughs> Hello, Shai. Hello. Are you excited to go exploring? Yeah. Uh, we got the big boat today. Uh, you went you went with me before on the boat, right? Yeah. So it should be fun. Yeah. yeah. You're just gonna go uh, swim around. Let's find some critters, huh? So I'll show you if I see something cool, and you show me. <laughs> Judea? Yeah. Boat time. <laughs> it's a full boat today, but we got our own guides, so it's all good. Oh no. Not many waves today. <laughs> Check. What's it? Check. Weights. Dive boots. Hey Nathan. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good morning. June, right? Can you put your nice. mask? I got a new mask somewhere, oh. but I don't feel like defogging it right out. You good, Nathan? Where's my obesity? I have to talk in here because it's so windy on the boat out there but right now we're heading south to Chateau and we're gonna explore some new dive sites just two and then on the way back we're gonna explore one in San Miguelita See what happens when you don't go diving for a week? Yeah, that's one of my biggest fear. Spiders, <laughs> insects, and the regulators. Yeah. It happens. So I just put my toes in and it's a huge spider. So there's definitely a cockroach in your regulator. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. It's punishing us for not diving. We're at a new dive site. We've never been here before. It's super yeah. calm. Antelang is over there. We're just here at this beautiful cove. Yeah, I was a little worried because the waves were huge on the way here and all of a sudden it's like we went through a cloud and it's, it's perfect weather and there's not even a ripple man yeah. look at this what look Amazing. at this this cove so this is uh hopefully do you have a name no i don't think this stuff site has a name we'll figure it out later but it should be cool ready alex yeah you ready shy yeah ready <laughs> you ready yeah. I'm gonna. You're gonna show me some frogfish. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You ready for nothing? Yeah, I'm ready for nothing. <laughs> you, I know you. You're gonna go buy those fish from those fishermen <laughs> as soon as I leave. <laughs> All right, it's way too hot in this wetsuit. They're easy to find, you know. No, don't find. Yeah. Don't no, get the fish. Really I'm gonna them. film the fish. You're gonna eat the fish. He's already searching for the uh, fishermen. <laughs> Filipinos, man. Film yourself sometimes, huh? Yeah. 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 Y
So just like on every dive, my goal today is to find some species that I've never filmed before. And the first thing I ran into was just that. It's a weird head shield slug. Not the most beautiful or photogenic, but I'm definitely going to film it because I've never filmed it or even seen it before. If you look really closely, those might be little tiny eyes on its head. And then I ran into the most common nudie, this Chromodorus or what we like to call the pajama nudie. I looked in the book to find the exact name for this and I was kind of shocked that there's like 20 or 30 different species of these. So it's kind of hard to find the exact name. I've always wanted to film these. I call these the walking sea cucumber. I see them everywhere, but I've never really sat down to try to film them walking until now. I filmed this guy in real time just so you guys can see how weird it is as he walks along the floor. And then I ran into an awesome looking flatworm. If this was a night dive, I bet this guy would have been glowing in the dark. You guys know I like to film flatworms, not just nudie break. And mostly that's because they come in so many different colors and patterns and variations. They're always really awesome to find. Here's another huge one. So probably the best critter of the day was this orangutan crab. I don't see these very often and they're always top of my list. This guy was in a really bad position as you can see. All I could do was sit there and wait and hope that I could film him in a better spot. But it never really happened. Normally I see these guys in bubble coral, but this dude was hanging out in a regular anemone. And there was all this stag horn and stuff around him. Super hard to get in there and film him. So I hope you can see what he looks like, and I think you can see why they call it an orangutan crab. With that red fur that looks like an orangutan monkey in Borneo. I actually read recently that they use that fur to catch particles in the water, and then they'll just sit there and snag the particles and eat them. It's pretty funny if you can catch it on film. Just picking their fur and eating whatever's in it. These guys are always cool to find. Here's another Chromodorus, speaking of. And you can see this guy's a little bit different. He's called a quad color one because he's got yellow, white, black, and blue. If you remember that other one, it only had two or three colors. But they're all Chromodorus of some sort. And here's a snake eel. I'm not even going to try to identify what type of snake eel this is, but it was really ugly, so I obviously had to film him and show you guys. Every time I'm diving, I'm just thinking, oh, I bet the critter crew would like to see this guy, and I film it. A lot of times I think the opposite. Ah, oh, they wouldn't care about this, and I don't film it. But this guy was pretty cool. Same with these little polyp thingies. Jake. What do you think about that dive site? Yeah, meh. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. Beautiful reef though. Yeah. I guess that's the problem with exploring new sites is we have no idea what's there. Yeah. Like if we go to Dowin, we know what they all look like and what we'll probably see. But trying to find new sites here, you never know. Never know, although some places have shot that they do have some beautiful craters. I think for the most part, we've been happy. Yeah. On all the dive sites so far. Yeah. Maybe two that we didn't like out of ten or whatever. But we can always come back to them and maybe this new critters. Yeah, for sure. Every time. Did they say where we're going next? Just around the corner. Cool. So we're gonna go do one more dive. Never been there before. And then after that we'll go closer to home where we're a little more familiar. I was able to show Shy a little tiny nudie bridge. Did you see that one? Yeah. He's cute, huh? Yeah. What color was it again? I can't remember. Uh, blue. Blue? And yellow. Yeah. And did you see those those two fish I was trying to show you? They were like walking on the floor. Yeah, yeah. I think it's called a rock fish or a stone fish. Yeah. 
Not very photo, really ugly, huh? I didn't even, I didn't even film it. It was so ugly. But did you see some other cool stuff? Uh, the nudie friend. Uh, uh, another nudie? Yeah. Yeah. Your camera, you were filming at first, huh? Oh, watch out. So this is uh, Lotobon? Yeah, Lotobon. Where's the house? That's the house of my... Uh, That's your friend's house? Yeah, friend's house. So where's the uh, dive site usually? Yeah, right here. So we need to get closer? Yeah. Uh, we, can, we can swim in that way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so... Huh? You st and this is where you saw the Harlequin? Harlequin swims there. Alright. Let's hurry that way. You, you yeah, think you so can we remember? Can, yeah, we can use the. We can uh, look if we can f see some sponge. Barrel sponge. Barrel sponge, and then you can look inside and inside. Pretty also. big. Yeah, not totally big. It's like big like this. So I, I saw you also saw a Alameda ghost pipe fish. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen one. I've never uh, seen one before. Yeah, uh, I hope it's still there. Okay. <laughs> We hope. But this is a good uh, macro spot otherwise, yeah. huh? Yeah. It's so, good for well, I gotta go tell Finn because I thought we were still in Chaton. Yeah, no. So, this is already part of Sambuangita. Sambuangita, yeah. yeah. Sweet. I think we're... It's already been an hour, so we'll go now. Yeah. So, this cuttlefish girl... <laughs> she just told me something weird. <laughs> I think she made it up. Yeah. She said free willy. The whale is Icelandic. Yeah, that's, that's what he said to me. When he was done with his filming career, free willy, he flew over to Iceland. island called Himae. Seriously? And that's where they built another uh, cage for him. So he was able to <coughs> live there uh, one of his final days. So SeaWorld came and kidnapped him from Iceland. Pretty much. And then, Shame on you! <laughs> and the, the dumbest thing about this is he had been feeding or been fat his whole life, so he didn't know how to hunt. So they put a tracker on him and released him, and he died somewhere off in Norway. What? Yeah. That's just like me. Judea got me all plump so that I won't survive without her. <laughs> That's not really the reason. She said, Ah, I gotta make you fatty, fatty, little girl, look at you. All right, we're not gonna see Free Willy, but let's go see some crabs or something. Well, there's a harlequin. There might be a harlequin. There's not. There's a cuttlefish. It's not confirmed. No, you're the only cuttlefish. <laughs> you're definitely flamboyant. <laughs> She leads one of those hoods like Catan with the, oh, with the, I have one. I've with the fin. Already. Oh, I have one. I have one. Yeah, I have one. Yeah, it looks cute. Yeah, All right. You guys are weird. I'm going diving. So there's actually a huge variety of butterfly fish around here. And one of these days, if you guys want me to, Maybe I'll try to film them. They're not the easiest to film. They're super shy. But this was a cool species right here that I don't see very often with the zebra stripes. So if you guys want me to do a video just on the huge variety of butterfly fish species, let me know. Maybe I can do it. And here's the ribbon eel. And I've showed you guys ribbon eels before. And blue ribbon eels are the best ones. I'm still on the hunt for the rare yellow ribbon eel. But this guy's still pretty cool. But if you look closely, he's got a weird coloration, a weird face. I'm starting to think that maybe he got his nose bit off when he was young, because he's got a really stubby looking face. I'm not sure, there's just something different about this guy. Even the yellow on top of his head is a lot bigger. In fact, these guys morph colors, so maybe this guy is turning yellow, who knows? Maybe in another year or six months, this guy will be a yellow moray. I'm not really sure how it happens. But like I've told you before, ribbon eels are all born black and male. And I've shown you black ones before. And eventually a lot of them morph into blue and yellow like this that you can see. And into female. So this guy is a female. And I'm not sure about the yellow ones. But I'd really like to see one one day. And there's Alex, <laughs> just floating around. Uh, another ornate ghost pipe fish. You guys know that I've been kind of ignoring these, 
But a lot of you guys have commented that even though something is common for me, that it might not be common for everybody. So that's a good point. So this is a cool species. I might as well film it. But I wanted a different angle. So this guy is pregnant. Yeah, and I said guy. Males get pregnant in the seahorse and pipefish species. As you can see here, I'm trying to zoom in on that little pouch that holds the eggs. If you look really closely right there, you can see the eggs in there. I mean, I can't get focused. You can imagine how tiny these eggs are. But this is probably the best shot I've ever got of a ornate ghost pipefish with eggs. I was pretty happy with this shot. And there's a little bit closer and this is actually really awesome detail. It's just unfortunate that he turned around at the last second because I think I could have got the eggs really good. So now I'm just waiting. And he turned around and there's the eggs. You can kind of see how tiny they are. If you look closely, you might even see little faces in there. But as I said, males are the ones that get pregnant, just like seahorses. The female, after mating, will actually inject all her fertilized eggs into the male's pouch like this, and he has to go through the birth. So yeah, sometimes it's not clear. I mean, you gotta remember that I'm floating perfectly, buoyant, not touching anything, holding the camera freehand, and this little guy is just kind of floating and swimming in circles in front of me, not exactly holding still. And there's Finn, and he's filming something, and it's another ornate. I wasn't going to film this guy, but just like Finn said on his channel, uh, this ornate was really unique. He was like extra furry. He was a bright white with some brown spots, but he was really furry. That, that's the only way I could describe it. It was just really spiky or furry. I, I don't know. And here's a close-up. Man, that actually came out really good. I wish I got the eggs that good on the other guy. Uh, I'm gonna have to see if this guy has eggs, but now you can see those little furry things on his face. They're meant to be used as camouflage, and he blends in perfectly with the feathered sea star where they live. So this guy is awesome. Me and Finn usually skip these, but this guy was an awesome color. And there's a clown frogfish. I see these guys so much, and but you know what? You guys should enjoy these while you can because frogfish season will be over for the year soon enough, and then it's gonna be hard to find them at all. Right now we're in like a bonanza of frogfish of different species, so we're a little bit spoiled. <laughs> he, he's actually sitting next to this tube star, or I'm not even sure what it's called, a tube anemone feather, I don't know, well, now it's gone. It. I knew it. Judea. <laughs> yeah, no, not yet, not yet. What? One only game. Judea. <laughs> oh my God. Tata is so happy. You know? Yeah. So are you. You fatty, fatty. <laughs> you eat all the fish Why while I'm underneath. That gonna go? No. I'm down there filming the fish. You're up here eating the fish. It's okay. What are those slappers? Yeah, red slappers, I think. It's Antonio. Well, it doesn't get much pressure, yeah, I guess. Thank you so much for letting me to eat that. I didn't let you, you sleeky <laughs> sleeky. <laughs> I said there better not be any fish in my bag. <laughs> oh my god, there's We're a going hole. to cook the pie. We're going to eat it already. Now I know why I couldn't find the critters. Because <laughs> you cooked them already. <laughs> so, cool frogfish. Hopefully that footage of the ornate ghost eggs came out but awesome dive we could cross that one off the map too so anyways thank you guys for watching if you want to become a patreon the link is down below i love you guys see you on the next one